In this parasha, we find a um, the concept of a ladder. And I want to bring a very mystical interpretation of the of the ladder um, that is given by um, the Orachim. It's a very beautiful interpretation. So it says, by Yaakov me Vershava by Yelech Haran. Yaakov departed from Vershava and went to Haran. He encountered, by Gavah Hakom means, you know, he, he hit the place and he slept there uh, because the, the sun had set and he took from the stones of the place, he put them around his head, lay down in that place and he dreamt. A ladder was set earthward and its top reached heavenward. And behold, angels of God ascending and descending on it. So the Chaim gives here a very long and fascinating interpretation of these words and using the Hebrew word in a symbolic way, in a, in a form that is more um, Uh, mystical. So he says, first of all, that the latter is Yaakov and it represents a human being. A human being, for Yetzel Yaakov, it means that the he comes out. It means that he is the part from the upper spheres, the soul is a spiritual um, creation. It comes from, not from the physical world of the earth, it comes from the heaven, from the, from the top. And so and he enters into Haran, inside. What enters into inside? It means that the spirit now is possessed or is mixed with a physical entity that contains the temptations. The soul doesn't want to sin. The body wants to eat and drink and have luxury and 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 and, and pleasure. And you know, regardless of whether it's ethical or not, the body is is amoral. It's only when the body, you know, obeys the soul or the soul controls it that the body is able to control itself. But the body itself it doesn't have morality. So that's what it says. How, how does a person deal with this evil inclination that we have with us, inside of us? So he says, by the, by the Gaba Makom, he hit upon the place. The word Faga in Hebrew is also a synonym for Fila, for prayer. So he says, the, if a person wants to conquer evil inclinations in himself, in other words, if a person knows that he has a bad character, he has a defect that he wants to correct, he gets angry too quickly. He really is very selfish. Whatever defect the person finds in himself that he wants to improve, the first thing you need to do is pray. By God on a call. You have to pray to Hashem. That help, Hashem helps you. And Kiva um, Shemesh means a person has to pray that a person gets better before the sun sets. Before the sun sets is a metaphor for death, which means a person has to work himself to refine his character before he dies. So a person has to have a concept of mortality, knowing that life is short, that limit finite. And we have to try to work on ourselves every day to improve ourselves. And this is why in Kachem Ebrahim Akom, he came thanks from the stones of the place. So the Archive says, what are the stones? The stones are the building blocks. What are the building blocks of character of a person? How do you build yourself up into a better human being, into a better, more refined character, the person you would like to be? So, so you have to take the building block, what are the building blocks? The learning of Torah, doing mitzvot, engage in a spiritual endeavors and tasks. So if you do that, then you would be in that place 
you know, you will, if you are residing and living among people who are good people in a good community, good friends, a good teacher, a good classes, good shurim, and you perform mitzvot, you are in that environment, then you'll have the, pr the privilege of halom, halom. You will be able to dream like Yaakov. Be able to dream. After you pray to Hashem, after you conquer, after you conquer the evil inclination, after you concern yourself with refining your character before you, know, before you die, and you do it every day, and you pick up building blocks from good places like Torah and, and mitzvot and so on, then you'll be able to be in that place that enables you to become a dreamer. And the dreamer here means that you'll be able to connect with higher spheres. You know, a person has a choice of being a slave to one's passions, like, like an addict, for example, who, who you know, cannot control, he has to eat, he takes drugs, he drinks, or he gets involved with uh, superficial things in life, like games and watching TV, things which bring us down. Or a person can do higher things. I mean, of course, an intellectual pursuit, reading a good book, listening to good music, the things which are spiritual, and even more than that, to be able to, to think lofty concepts and thoughts. That's what makes a person dream being able in another sphere. Then, although you're, you are in the earth, the latter, you are in the earth, but your head is turning towards the heaven. You know, we, we, are, we have to attend to our physical needs. Of course, we didn't, we didn't become angels, but in addition to our physical needs, or we are we're transforming our physical needs all for the purpose of, of leading a spiritual life. A beautiful idea. And then we have, of course, the malachim, we will be able to create angelic beings. Beautiful idea. Angelic beings that go up, and sometimes the angelic beings that go down means to bring us a, not only do we have good thoughts, but also thoughts that we can apply to ourselves and to our society, to our environment. A beautiful concept, you know, when a person, give me a, an example, a person goes to a synagogue and prays and, and entertains very lofty, beautiful thoughts, of course he's going to come into the society and when he greets a person, he's going to greet them with this kind of uh, uh, goodness and, and kindness that he's developed, that the angel from heaven has now come down and now he, in a sense, has the angel inside instead of having the devil. This is the beauty, in, in the summary, the beautiful interpretation of the Orachim and this ladder of Yaakov. And again, it represents the struggle that a person must do in this world when the pure divine soul is mixed with a body that is immoral, amoral, and in, uninterested in anything but, but pursuing just to eat. The whole purpose of the body is to receive. And the, the body and, and the soul is a giver. The combination of these two in one human being is what makes us either good people or bad ones. But it creates a, a kind of um, human being that is admirable or a scoundrel. And that, to do that, he recommends to pray to Hashem to save you from this evil inclination. Um, make sure that you are refining yourself in uh, in your uh, behavior by thinking about taking the building blocks to build your character which is a community mitzvot and learning and classes and then of course you'll be able to reach a level of communicating with heaven that you will sort of be less dependent on your physical world and more uh, uh, accessible and in contact with the spiritual world, where the angels are coming up and down. I hope you like this beautiful interpretation of your heart.